had a good gig in Phoenix, but I've always had a wonderful time. We played at a club in Phoenix called uh, Dooley's, which is a rock pile about, oh, I don't know, about, I suppose about, I don't know, two and a half or three years ago, yeah. Frightful. We were absolutely awful. What happened to rock pile? Well, again, it's a, it's kind of involved story. I think rock pile was a very unusual group, you know, because we were, we were, uh, we were put together overnight and we kind of broke up overnight. So it, we come to this crossroads that all groups uh, come to and I fell out with Dave Edmonds who um, was, I suppose it was Dave and I's group, it was Dave's group really and I used to write a lot of the songs and things but it was Dave's group really but I got annoyed with him because I felt that he wasn't owning up to the fact that we'd reached this crossroads and did we want to work at it or did we want to just fold, you know. And, and as I said, when we started we always said that whenever one of us wanted to pack it in, that that'd be it. We wouldn't carry on with anybody else. We wouldn't get anybody else in. It was we, it was just the four of us. You know, we were all good friends. Okay. Extreme objections to musicians. I think mean, most of them are half wits, to be quite honest. <laughs> they should be doing a proper proper job. Either that or a spell in the army. I think most of them a clip round the ear and a spell in the army. I think they're doing the, most of them a power of good. A frightful shower. Honestly, they are. They're grossly overpaid for doing very little, really. Mm. Thinks that it's it's weird, you know, if you're both in the same business, especially in the music business, you know, if you're married to somebody who's in the same business. It doesn't really affect Carleen and I too much. In fact, uh, we, you know, we've, we keep, we lead pretty separate lives, in fact, and we don't interfere with each other too much, and it seems to work out just fine. I mean, it, it does cause a few problems, you know, sometimes, but especially if you've, you know, had a bit of an argument in the studio, you have to obviously take it home with you, you know, at, at night. But, um, but we, you know, we get on pretty well. Well, that's good. That's quite a family uh, you're married into. <laughs> yeah, yes, it's very unusual, I think. <laughs> uh, the uh, family, I mean. Yeah, do you have a lot foreign of blood. family get-togethers and, and play Well, music? not really. I mean, I see, I see, um, you know, fairly, fairly often and I mean, he's a very awe-inspiring guy, you know, I mean, he's very kind to me, I mean, extremely kind, but he's very awe-inspiring, I get a bit sort of tongue-tied, you know, and I'm, and I'm, although I've recorded with him, and, then, and there's talk of us doing an album together as well, which I think would be quite, that quite good fun. That sounds pretty exciting. Yeah, I think yeah. it would be good fun. You kind of, uh, sort of have a split personality, you know, you, you, your records all seem to lean towards the new wave, the rockabilly, yet, uh, you know, you drink Long Star beer, belong to the Confederate Air Force <laughs> and uh, read those. Uh, yes. <laughs> no. Do you have a lot foreign of blood? Family get-togethers and, and play well, music? not really. I mean, I see, I see um, uh, Johnny Cash quite, you know, fairly, fairly often, and but mainly we write to each other. He writes me this, this extraordinary letters. <laughs> I mean, he's a very awe-inspiring guy. You know, I mean, he's very kind to me. I mean, extremely kind. But he's very awe-inspiring. I get a bit sort of tongue-tied, you know, and I'm, and I'm, although I've recorded with him, and, then, and there's talk of us doing an album together as well, which I think would be quite, that quite good fun. That sounds pretty exciting. Yeah, I think yeah. it would be good fun. You kind of uh, sort of have a split personality, you know, you, you, your records all seem to lean towards the new wave, the rockabilly, yet, uh, you know, you drink Long Star beer, belong to the Confederate Air Force, and, and uh, read letters from Johnny Cash, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> yes. No. Um, well, I'm, I'm sorry, but that's what I like. You know, I, I oh, no. do like Lone Star Beer, country and western music, Johnny Cash, and the Confederate Air Force. But I'm still quite a nice chap. You know, I mean, it doesn't mean that I eat, you know, eat baby legs or anything like that. You know.